Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. And I'm going to take y'all in this why Tracy shot Pep in the head. Since he wants to play games with me, I'm going to tell everything as it was the truth letter by letter. After him and Pep got drunk coming in on the highway, Pep was talking cash shit to the police. Then the next time Tracy said they went in, this nigga had started acting like he wanted to snitch. This rat ass nigga who wants to sit up there on the camera and talk all this slick shit actually turned state's evidence against my father and I have the file to prove it. That's why when I told y'all that story with the briefs, it's right in his briefs. When you fighting your case and you on your case like Felix Wall, you definitely know who might be considering a snitch on you. So let me give you the real story about Mr. James Cooper. We had been indicted. The feds had rounded us all up. My father and them fighting the case. Defendants all sit at the same table. When Peps and Tracy name was on there as witnesses for the government. So now my father is wondering, is this nigga finna walk in here and snitch him out? Cause now, he's on the list to testify for the government. He's not sitting at the table with the defendants. If you know everything, all co-defendants sit at the table together. Him and Tracy wasn't sitting at the table. Right there, my pops already know, man, these guys might be telling on me, Eddie, baby. They might be giving up the count. So Pops went on and he got where Pep turned state's evidence against my father. Yes, he did, and I have the file to prove it. And if the nigga wanna lie, tell him to bring it on. He actually turned state's evidence against Eddie Jackson. Yes, Mr. Cooper did. And Pep, Tracy is a witness to it. If a motherfucker don't believe me that he turned state's evidence against my father, ask Mr. Tracy Sledge. Because he was on the ticket right there with him. So now my father is worried to death that Tracy and Pep finna walk in there and testify for the government on something they didn't even have. Like Felix Wall said, they didn't have no dope to test. They didn't have no dope at all on Pep and Tracy, but they're busy pleading guilty to put themselves in jail. They didn't get caught with no dope. They pleaded guilty to a conspiracy even the police couldn't prove because he's wet behind the ears and don't know nothing about what he's doing, don't know nothing about the law. Just out here running, selling dope, thinking he's the slickest nigga in the streets while turning state's evidence on the fat man. Now we worry. Damn, Pep finna snitch us out? This nigga really finna snitch us out? We worry like a motherfucker. He comes in the court, he comes in on the elevator with Black Butch, Peter Gunn, and me. Peter Gunn, after he get out the elevator, me, Black Butch, and Peter Gunn is stood in the elevator. Peter Gunn says, we're going to have to choke and kill that nigga there. If that nigga there get on the stand, I'm going to personally choke and kill that motherfucker myself. This is what Peter Gunn said. And Black Butch heard every motherfucking word of it even though he wants to play like he didn't. He heard Peter Gunn say, he gonna have all of us locked up. We gonna have to choke this little light bright motherfucker. Peter Gunn was so big, he said, I picked that motherfucker up and slammed him on his goddamn head. If I could get him in this goddamn elevator by himself, he wouldn't leave out of this bitch talking on the fat man, I promise you that. And Pops called Demetrius Hollowell. Did this nigga pep man. Might be about to testify on me. Come on down to the courtroom, man. I went and picked up Scott, Vinny, everybody in the neighborhood to come to court to see this rat ass nigga snitch. So when he look out in the crowd, he'll see everybody. When he walk his bitch ass in the court, walk past us walking in the court, knowing he the goddamn government star witness. He's slated, he's already turned state's evidence. So now he come into the trial. He get up there on the stand. And I guess, looking out into the crowd, seeing me, seeing Scott, seeing Vinny, seeing Demetrius, seeing all of us, looking him 
right in his eyes. And Demetrius Holloway is wearing an all-white suit with a gold rope down to his nuts with a chain, with a, with a medallion on it. And he's sitting there in court just listening at what this nigga is finna say. And when the nigga get on the stand, because everybody already know he didn't turn state's evidence as far as in our camp. So when the nigga get on the stand, we all is. He come in, he said, uh, because he seen all us sitting there and he knew, he knew today, yesterday or tomorrow, if you had testified against Eddie Jackson, nigga, you was going to have to deal with me and Demetrius Holloway. And it wasn't going to be nothing pretty, nigga. You could say whatever the fuck you want. I would have paid ungodly sums of money. I would have paid Rodney Rice, all of them. You think Bush Jones would have been my target? Nigga, I would have buried you alive had you got on that stand and testified against my father. So quit out here lying to these people. I tried to save your punk ass some of the embarrassment, but you had stupid ass to get up there and talk about business you didn't know about. If you don't know about it, nigga, just say, hey, he was giving me 50 quarters a day. That's all I can say. I don't know how much he had because that's the truth. If you even had a spoke the truth, I wouldn't be telling that you turned state's evidence on us. And that's a fact. I got the brief in the box. I done pulled the box out and showed y'all the whole box of all the briefs. This man turned state's evidence against my father. And when he got up on the stand, something in his head looking at us, all us must have struggled. said, man, don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that because you might get away with it today, but tomorrow, brother, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be no goddamn rat now. And then they got up on the stand and ratted on Tracy. And that's why Tracy had his own crew member shoot him in the head. He running over there late one night to pick some money up. And Tracy then put it in for him and told him that the nigga had turned state's evidence on my father. That's why the nigga really popped Pep in the head. Because Tracy told him, hey man, that nigga turned state's evidence on Eddie Jackson, the fat man, the big man. This nigga here didn't turn state sevenness on him. Then when he came over there, he picked the money up from his crew member, and he fucked around there and turned around, and my man had whipped out the gun and wham on, hit his ass right in the head, and down he went, and my man took all the money back from his ass that he had just gave it and left his ass laying there, shot in the head. Now ask Mr. Pep Cooper, to pick the story up from you all from that point right there where he's laying there shot in the goddamn head after my man Tracy was pissed off with him because he had put him under the bus, threw him in front of the train. So instead of throwing us in front of the train, he threw Tracy in front of the train and Tracy didn't dig that and Tracy would get back at him for throwing him in front of the train talking all this shit. So now he done threw this man in the train thinking he's super slick. Jump up on the stand. I wouldn't know Eddie Jackson if I seen him. Tracy is who I went to Mexico with. Now he done already told you Tracy and Lisa was together. The feds knew all of what he told you. But what he keeps leaving out is the truth. And y'all want to look at me and tell me what the fuck he say? Well, ask him these questions. Why did he leave out? He ran out of town from Butch Jones. Why did he leave it out? Tracy had his own crew members shoot him. Why did he leave out all these important big money stories that he could tell that you all want to hear? Why Tracy had him shot in the head? I just told you why Tracy had him shot in the head. Because Tracy knew he was a rat-ass motherfucker, basically. And that's why he shot him in the head. I'm just giving y'all real true street crime. Since he wants to talk, let's talk. Ask Pep next time he get on camera. Why did Tracy shoot you in the head? Ask Pep next time he get on the camera, why was you scared to death of Butch Jones? Ask Pep next time he get on camera. Because he seemingly don't want to talk about it. And definitely ask Pep, what made you turn state's evidence against Eddie Jackson? Then at the last minute after you seen everybody watching you, he said, fuck that, I ain't going to do it. So, after he wouldn't say what he had wrote state's evidence for. He had to testify in open court to the statement he gave the state's evidence. So when it came, when, when Judge Eddie Corn pulled up 
the, the state's evidence that the stupid nigga had turned. He said, man, this is what you said to me. This is what the fuck you said to me about Eddie Jackson. Now you get in court, you have to face him, and you're talking a whole nother motherfucking story. Judge Eddie Corn stopped the trial because Pep had turned state's evidence on my father and he wouldn't testify to what he had turned, what he said in the state's evidence thing. So they had to throw that out because you have a right to face your accuser. And when he faced my father, all the shit he had turned state's evidence on, he wouldn't testify to it in court. But he had already turned state's evidence and told every goddamn thing. He just wouldn't testify to it in court. He had already told everything. He just wouldn't testify to it in court. That's why the shit he tell you, he can tell you because the feds told him. Oh, we was just trying to sucker it in, just like in New Jersey. When schoolyard George went in to get the bag for Courtney, and Courtney people schoolyard had got busted and knew if I go in there, I'm finna get busted too. So Courtney took the fuck off and drove, drove back to Detroit. See, so the same thing. After they busted Pep and Tracy, which they never busted them because they never caught him with no dope. This nigga just running off at the mouth because he's scared. This nigga here didn't get caught with any dope. Ask Tracy, look at the case, take the case number. The man never got caught with any dope. He didn't have to answer one question that the feds asked him, but he was busy running his motherfucking mouth. So tell him to tell y'all why he turned state seven deaths on Eddie Jackson. Since he want to talk so motherfucking much, and I got the file, I got the brief of it. Up in the attic, stored in boxes and boxes of the case. Nigga, that's why we fight a case so we know who's a rat and just what you said. Now tell the people what you said when you turned state's evidence against my father. Since you want to talk so much, you rat ass nigga, tell the people what you said when you turned state's evidence against my father. Subscribe, share, like, and please give me a donation. Please. Give Eddie Baby a donation, and he says thanks. But remember, go to my cash app, cash app, cash dollar sign, Eddie Baby 22. And that's how Pep got shot in the goddamn head by his own crew member. Because his own crew member believed what Tracy had told him, that he had turned state seven this against Eddie Jackson, and I told you back in the old day, when a nigga knew he was a snitch, anybody would kill you and shoot you. I had nothing to do with it. It was just that man here that you had turned state's evidence on, the big man. And that's why he shot you. I ain't no shit about it. But I'm going to tell y'all once again, snitches die. They don't get a movie in the middle. They get the bullet in the grave, y'all. And that's what his crew member that was working for him felt he deserved. He did his damnedest to put him there, but he happened to survive. So let's see if he tell you all about this story I'm talking about now. Let's see if Mr. James Cooper want to continue to talk. Let's talk, Mr. Cooper. It's good for business. Let's talk about how you turn state's evidence against me, you son of a bitch, you. Subscribe, share, like, and give your man a donation. Peace, love, and subscribe, and thank you. I'll be back. But ask that man, why was he scared to death of Bush Jones ran all the way to Boston? Why was he scared to death of the feds and turned state's evidence on us? And why, what happened the night he got shot? Tell y'all about how Tracy set him up to have his own worker shoot him in his goddamn head. Have him... Tell y'all that over there on Big Boss. Real true street crime is telling you about it over here on them red dot and them red shoes. So who do you believe? I got the paperwork. How about you? Subscribe, share, and thanks. And cash out Eddie Baby $5. Because he out here working hard to get that magazine off the ground 
so he don't have to deal with this dumb shit here. He can go on and do a greater vision and a greater work and a greater job of trying to get people out of jail. I don't want to hear your story that puts you in jail. I want to try to help you get out of jail. That's the difference with me. Another nigga trying to interview you about how you got all the shit that might keep you in jail. I'm trying to help you fight the case to get out of jail. Subscribe, share, and thank you. I am Eddie Baby. Donate, please.